Hello, welcome to another video in this series of Semantic Manager. Today we will discuss about the cyclic interval in Semantic Manager and how can you use and how many cyclic interval your CPU supports. Okay. Uh, first, uh, this is my previous project which I created and upload the video about the OB81 which was the interrupt for the CPU power supply fault. If you have not watched, I will uh, put the link in the description so that you can watch. Today we will discuss about this cyclic interrupt. So <clears throat> the cyclic interrupt means that you know, the things or the event which you want to keep uh, keep occurring at a specific time. Okay. So first let's uh, insert the cyclic interrupt. Let's go to insert new object and go to organization block OB. And first let me show you that how many cyclic interrupt are there in my PNC. Okay, then I will select any one of them. For that you have to select a uh, semantic manager 300 CPU. I have selected this one. You can select any another CPU. Uh, the process is same to check your cyclic interrupt that how many uh, cyclic interrupt your CPU support. So go to hardware and take the properties of this CPU object properties and go to cyclic interrupts. My CPU which I have selected 315-2 PL slash BP it actually support four cyclic interrupt from OB32 to OB35. And these are the execution times that how many uh, after how many times it will execute automatically so this is thousands millisecond which is actually equal to one second so i you can change it so as it is default thousands so i'm not going to change it uh, i will take the cyclic interrupt ob32 in my program okay uh, and keep in mind its execution time is thousand second which is equal to one milli uh, sorry thousand millisecond which is equal to one second Click OK and in the organization block, just go to insert new object, organization block, and I take OB32. If I'm not wrong, it was OB32. Let me just check again. Yeah, OB32. And just click uh, select this one, the lighter, and click. Now, this is OB31 inserted in my main project window and you can see it is description is showing that cyclic interrupt to just double click it and what i'm going to do i am going to make a simple code in this uh, block cyclic interrupt ob32 that just count one after one second keep counting one after one second means it you will see that it, there is a counter keep counting from zero one two three four five and so on okay so I will just take here and take some integer function add integer and I will tell him like to add in the memory let's say memory word uh, you can take 100 and save also in the memory word of 100. Just save it and let me open my simulator. About the simulator, how to use this simulator in Semantic Manager, I have also created one video. I will put the link in the description. If you have not watched, if you don't know how to use this simulator, you can go to that link and watch that how to use this simulator. Just put in the run key mod. Okay. Now download this one. Okay, the promise downloaded. Okay, now come to the block and make it online. See, can you see? It is keep counting one after every one second. Means that this OB32 is being called and keep executing whatever the code is written inside this OB32 after each one second, which is equal to thousand millisecond. If you want to make its delay different, you can change from here. You can go to here. Object properties from here. 
we can change like a uh, 1000 to let's say 20000 millisecond then this will be executed after uh, 2 second i show you let's say if you go there take the object properties and make it to let's say okay save and compile and uh, this time you have to again download the program to all yes 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 and yes okay. then go here make it online now observe that off if you could observe and now it is being added at every two second got it so this is the way uh, to use the interrupt ob32 but as i discussed uh, before that uh, ob32 a supports my cpu which i have selected ob cpu 315-2 might be your cpu have a different ob and uh, let's say uh, let's say for some cpu might have the all the obs from ob32 to ob38 this all this cyclic interrupt so you can use um, depending on the CPU you can also take OB35 and change the um, cyclic execution time some CPU support uh, 6 or some CPU, uh, CPU support uh, all the uh, 8 cyclic interrupt hope you like the video and understand how to use the interrupts especially this time we discuss about the cyclic interrupt in next video take care it's very good Allah Hafiz